everyone, this is the Phantom Safety Pin. Welcome back to Lego Batman, the hero run through. Today, we are going to play the Ice Cream Factory. And of course, you know what that means. Ice puns! Da na 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 ice puns! Da na 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 ice puns! Anyway, so our heroes go to the Ice Cream Factory. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, I believe that motorcycle was a reference to Robin's motorcycle in uh, Batman and Robin Redbird. I'm ashamed I know that ba that Robin has a motorcycle named Redbird. <laughs> Robin, you're a sadist. I can't believe you'd laugh at some frozen, like, ice, like, policeman like that. That's cold. It's cold as ice. So willing to sacrifice our love. You've never paid the price, and I forget the lyrics, but it's okay, cause we're gonna beat up some goons. <laughs> They're dressed like Eskimos. Now, you see me kind of collecting a little bit of studs here, just for the sake of money. Stud collecting is very important in this game, because you buy everything with studs. So you want to have a nice little, uh, nice little, uh, nest egg of studs. Now, you see there's a black and red lock on that door, so we have to blow it up. That means... Demolition suit. Batsy is a demolition man. Now, we're gonna just blow it up. What you can't see me do here when I blow things up is I'm actually using the touchpad mechanic. And to do that, I'm using my mouse peripheral. I'm just not showing you the bottom of the screen because you don't really need to see it. Nothing happens on the bottom of the screen. So, now we need to get into Freeze's lair. And we do that by building these ice cream cones. Everybody loves ice cream cones. Especially dudes that need a deep freeze suit to live. This kind of shows off a bit more of how the different characters can help each other uh, by using their specific abilities. So you'll sometimes need to use Batman to reach areas Robin can't and Robin to reach areas Batman can't. So you'll, and you'll do that for all the characters. That's why you have a partner. Robin, of course, still has his nice Magno suit, so we can climb up this wall. Ice cream cone. Actually, it is so nice out in my neck of the woods. It's about 80 degrees out right now, and I've just finished all my homework for the day. It's nice out. I just went out and I had an ice cream myself. So, what? An ice cream? Who just says an ice cream? I don't know. Anyway, so I had ice cream myself, and it is so nice out here. Uncharacteristic for around here for March, actually. So, I know, I'm talking about warm weather in the ice level, but whatever. Anyway. So, more goons come to beat us up, but we're gonna beat them up first. And yes, goons can shoot you through uh, fences and other obstacles that have holes. One bit of realism that's otherwise kind of abstract little game and this game is surprisingly long it takes quite a bit of time to finish and get everything done uh to 100 percent completion but it's well worth it so when we go to the ice cream factory that is where we need to go to progress that's a builder machine as you can see build it machine rather and to get over there we need to investigate a new suit of batman's Go, Robin, go! Go, bird boy. Bird brain! Anyway. Joker, when did you invade my LP? Get out of here. <laughs> anyway. The Misadventures of Batsy and Bird Brain! That sounds like something that Joker would, like, retitle the Batman comics. Pull the lever, crunk! Anyway. I mean, Robin. So. So you basically get the gimmick of this part of the stage. We need to get up to where those levers are, uh, pull them so they will release those carts that have the blue bricks in them, and then pick the blue bricks up and bring them over to where they need to go. Uh, and um, yeah, more goons. It gets to the point where, why do they even send goons? Well, it's part of the canon. They have to. They have to make it realistic, you know? Even though the, the uh, battle mechanics in this game aren't that great. They're just button mashing. Literally just button mashing. Press X to not die. Now we gotta get Batman up there. And we do that by building this pad so he can zip up to the top. And really, that's 
this kind of gets tedious after a while. There's not a lot I can say about it. Second crate down, and here you show me kind of, here I show you how you can kind of dual wield bricks. And when I say dual wield, I don't mean like pick up two bricks at once. I mean you can use both characters to carry a brick at once so then you don't have to go back. It just cuts down on time. This is explaining the freeze mechanism, uh, blue gas freezing mechanics. Color coded for your convenience, of course. Uh, green gas will kill you. Blue gas will freeze you. Smoke will make you cough and hack and you will suffocate. Obviously. Move faster, Robin, you are so slow. And time for a new Super Batman. Here it is, the freeze suit. This makes Batman immune to cold. There are not many characters in this game immune to cold, not many of the major characters. I believe it is that the only characters immune to cold are Freeze, Killer Croc, Penguin, uh, Freeze Goons, a few of the tougher goons, and I, I want to say there's one more, but I can't remember. I want to say Azarel, Azazel, or whatever his name is. I, I'm sorry, I don't know every single Batman character, so sue me. So, there are, there are a few characters immune to cold, but there's a lot more immune to toxins than there are immune to cold. Uh, and this is not counting Batman, Robin, or any of their hero incarnations with the suit swappers. Earn your keep, Robin. Pick up that brick. So now we have all three bricks over here, which means, and since Batman's the only one who can, uh, can uh, go in the freezing gas, he has to move them all. So, pick it up, move a brick. <laughs> Robin just died. God damn it, you are so useless in this game, Robin. I wish you had like a cooler move, but you don't. I wish you had like some more acrobatic skills, but you don't have anything else special. You do have a dinky little kick, but it does nothing. And you always glide like 10 feet when you use it, so what's the point? Now the gas is turned off, and now we can go up together. Quick little detour here to pick up some studs that are really important. Blue studs are worth the most, gold studs the second most, and silver studs the least. Uh, contrary to popular belief, there are not purple studs in this game. I have checked. In some LEGO, uh, some LEGO games, there are purple studs which are worth more than blue studs, but not in this game. So now you can see another mechanic, suit swapping once you've gotten past an obstacle. And here we are. Having turned off the gas, we can now get everybody across. Now, our next objective lies over this way, where we will build a suit swapper pad. I'm not suit talking. <laughs> suit swapper pad. Yeah, Phantom. Suit swapper pad. I mean, a grapple pad, which only Batman can use, of course. Get up there. Come on, Betsy. Batman, what are you doing? Oh, breaking things. No, 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 break, stop. Anyway, so we gotta get Batman up here so he can pull a lever so that Robin can get up here. You can, you can, you see, you see where this is going. And, letter, I'm sorry, there's not much to say about this level, guys. It's just kind of a tedious level. I don't know why Batman's going this way. Why are you going this way, Batman? Why did you do that? I think what happened was I- oh, because Robin wasn't walking up the thing. Yeah, remember I said that AI doesn't like to play nice in this game sometimes? Uh, that was an example of that. Robin would not follow me up. I guess Ro what happened was Robin fell, and he couldn't- his AI could not find me, so he ended up having to wait for me to come push the button to get him back up, and that's why I ended up leaving. Now that Robin's up here, he can do things that Batman cannot. For anyone wondering, yes, you can break those lights on the wall, but they only give out so many studs, and they're kind of difficult to hit, hit, so it's not worth it. Yes, it is possible to fall off of those as Robin, and then you have to climb all the way back up, and it's a real pain in the butt, but once you get used to the mechanic, it's really not that difficult. Now, since Batman cannot bridge that large gap, we have to open a bridge for him, so he can cross. And now we're worried about uh, the AI on, and these levers. Sometimes the AI does not, as you saw there, sometimes the AI does not 
fully pull the lever at the same time you do. So sometimes you will see me switch between the characters to get them near the lever so they can pull it better. Now we're in this room. This room's, uh, this room's main, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Oh yeah, this room's main objective is to turn all of those ice cream cone green lights into red. Uh, and what that'll do is that'll turn off that ice cream mixer machine up there. Yes, that is an ice cream mixer machine, although I don't know what company or place makes purple ice cream. I never saw a purple cow. I never hoped to see one. But I would tell you anyhow, I'd rather see than be one. But you have to turn off that ice cream machine so you can raise a platform so you can get across. And that's really the gimmick of this room. This room doesn't take that long. At least not as long as the other room did. Oh, God. Did I mention I don't particularly like this level? I hate replaying this level because it's tedious and it takes a while to collect all the studs. Oops, I almost walked out without building the lever. That would have been a bad idea. And in fact, I believe in one playthrough I accidentally walked out without building the lever. Batman, pull the lever. Yeah, that's another thing. Sometimes your character will accidentally throw the battering instead of pull the lever because the battering button and the pull lever button are the same buttons in the game. We can't open that yet, we need to strength the user, which we do not have. So, yeah, sometimes you'll see in these levels areas you cannot come across, you can't open, because you don't have the right character. Batman cannot open that brick breakable wall, for example. Someone like Clayface could, or Killer Croc could, but Batman can not. not. He is not strong enough. Um, and similarly, you may see places that are covered in corrosive goo that you can't cross without the right character, where someone like Joker could cross, but not Batman or Robin. At least if Robin doesn't have the biohazard suit. Two lights down, two to go. And yes, for those wondering, the music in the background is all from Batman, Batman Returns, and I believe Batman Forever. But... The music, for some reason, skips when I play this game. I don't know why, and I haven't been able to figure out why. Three lights down. One more to go. Let's run out. Robin should follow. And we're going to head over here to a quick suit change into our glidey suit. We're going to need it later so we can't change back. And build the suit. The Why do you keep calling that a suit swap pad? I have ice on my brain! Frosty brains! Yeah! Ice to meet you! The Ice Age! You know, my brother stupidly decided to watch that movie, and, um, now what killed the dinosaurs the Ice Age is a meme at my house. I kid you not. I really wish it were not so, but it is. So, Robin's gonna come here. Yay, Batman glowed across. Glowed? Glowed is not a word. Yeah, I glowed, everybody. I glowed. He glided across. Anyway, that's all four lights done. Done and dusted. And now the bridge is across, so we can go. I don't believe I referenced this in the beginning video, so I'll tell you now. This game was created by Traveler's Tales. It was released for, I believe, Wii, Xbox 360, PlayStation 3, and Nintendo DS. I believe also PSP. The handheld version is different from the console version in a few different ways. For example, some characters have different moves. Um, in, the, in the console version, for example, I know this example by heart, um, the Joker dual wields guns and has an electric joy buzzer. In this game, he does not dual wield guns or have an electric joy buzzer. He actually has razor cards. And he is immune to toxins. And he can double jump like Batman does. So in other words, Joker is basically Batman, but immune to toxins. I find that strangely fitting. And there goes Riddler. We must catch him! And whoops, get on the thing, Batman. Come on. Whee! Yeah, sometimes you'll see me lining myself up for a jump, like I did there. Because sometimes you just have trouble getting across places otherwise. The music was really terribly desynced here. Badly. To the point it was ridiculously desynced. And fortunately this is the last room before we fight Mr. Freeze, so... Let's go. Come 
on, Freeze. I'm not scared of you. Ice does not scare me. Ice isn't fun, but ice does not scare me. You know what that reminds me of? The time I went to go to class in the morning at like 8 a.m. for school, for my college classes, and I ended up having ice caked all over my windshield. And it took me a good hour to scrape it off. That's another thing. Uh, bad guys can knock you off of ledges when you're climbing as Robin. Anyway, now the gimmick to Mr. Freeze's battle is basically the same as with Clayface, but a little bit different. You need to fight him until he loses, he loses two hearts. He'll send out goons. And then you need to climb up those metal things as Robin. Press the button so you can build the grapple pad. So you can get Batman up there so you can blow up those things. Time to fight Freeze some more. And he does have a freezy gun, by the way, that will freeze you. And the only way to get free is to slide your thumb along the touchpad or to tap A repeatedly. He can freeze his own goons as well as freeze his... Oops! Stay cool, bad boy! <laughs> wow. Um, Robin, you can walk. Um, oops! <laughs> Never walk. Oops, it happened again. Yeah, never walk against the wall in Gotham City. You never know when you'll fall through it. That's what happened to half the characters that kind of disappeared. They were never seen again. Arkham Asylum is the glitchiest. That was pretty incredible right there. I forgot that was in this recording. Wow. And third one we can bomb down. There goes his freeze gun. You saw him just fire it. And it looks like he froze his own... No, did he freeze Robin or his own... He froze Robin. I thought for a second he froze a goon. He can freeze his own goons, but Robin usually... Your partner will end up more often than not getting frozen. And usually that means you will see a Robin sickle very often, which is kind of an impromptu nod to Batman and Robin, I guess. But I'm not going to count that as a nod. It is kind of funny, though. <laughs> Now, I have seen that glitch where Robin walks through the- Yep, got frozen again! Hooray! I have seen that glitch where Robin gets, uh, stuck and walks through the metal chute by accident. I've seen that glitch before in the DS console version. But, not quite as blatantly. And he's almost dead, one more hit should do it. And there we go. As you can see, Batman's going to catch Freeze! Plonk! Oh no! Oh no, ow. Ah, that's not good. He broke his freezy tank. I really hope he doesn't die. He's kind of supposed to be a tragic villain. Or at least he was. Oh no, Riddler is angry. Why you mad, Eddie? Why you be hatin'? Why you be jealous? Why you be mad? Anyway. You mad, bro? Anyway. Our stud total? No mini kit canisters? And again, every time you see this black screen, I'm just saving the game. I'll cut it out in future runs. And come on. And that'll do it for the Ice Cream Factory. Next time, join me for the first driving stage of the game, the Batmobile Chase. Sure, it'll be fun. I'll see you then, guys.